Good morning, everyone. So I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and staying healthy and um, praying for everyone. Uh, today I have a review of more Diamond Press Marquee uh, items. This is going to be very cute. The reason I've already seen kind of what's in it um, is because, you know, it was a little bit open here, so I was, uh, took a peek, but because HSN already has this available on their site, so I'll have the link for it. It is the Diamond Press Gift Bag Stamp and Die Kit. Very cute. Um, really quickly, I do have... Well, thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending these for my review. Uh, they sent them free of charge, and of course, all opinions are my own. Um, I will be doing a giveaway in this video that um, I forgot to think about before I started uh, filming. So let's do... Um, a tacky tool. So we will give away three tacky tools. Thank you so much, Diane Press, for being so generous and offering uh, several different things for me to give away. So today, um, in this video, you can enter to win a tacky tool. Um, it comes with uh, a little portion that does... Are you picking it up because it's sticky? It holds things that way. Um, I don't know if I have anything here that's like this. It'll just pick up a little piece of whatever it is. If you want to do nails with this, this would be great for picking up rhinestones or little implements, other little things you want to put on your nails. I did a nail video recently where I used this side to do my dotting, but it does come with um, an embossing tool, basically. It has a larger head and a smaller head, um, but it looks just like a dotting tool. And then it comes with um, another head that looks like this. And these are available right now on HSN. They are also available on MyDiamondPress.com. It comes with like a little spatula and like a pokey tool. It's a sharper. So really nice tool. I use it pretty often. Um, I will have the giveaway rules at the end of the video. So it will be like normal. Just, you know, be a subscriber to my channel. Thumbs up. Say enter me. You can say whatever you like. But if you want to be considered for the giveaway, say enter me in your comment. One comment per person. It is not international at this time. And uh, you must be 18 years of age or older. So I will have the date that that will end. Um... I'm not super sure what day today is. Uh, probably on the 10th I'll end it and I'll pick a name on the 11th, but that'll be at the very end of the video written up. Um, you'll see the entry rules there. Um, I had some other questions about the diamond press. If there will be refills available of the cutting folders, um, the large cutting folder that goes into the marquee, yes. Um, there there will be, they might already be on HSN, I'm not quite sure. Also, my contact at Diamond Press gave me a link for the actual kit that's going to be on uh, the Today Special. Um, what's interesting about the link, it says sold out, okay? So I'm telling you right now, if you click on the link to see the, the kit, the bundle, it says sold out, but the pricing is there, and um, it says sold out because obviously you can't get it yet, so obviously when it goes live, they will have the stock there. So don't get scared. It's not going to be available till um, a couple hours before April 14th. So around 10 o'clock on April 13th, 2020, you'll be able to purchase it. Okay. So don't be upset. It says sold out. <laughs> I've said that several times. So I know people will tell me it says sold out. <laughs> yes, it does. But that's just a, like a place marker basically. So you guys can check it out. So that's really exciting. So I'll have tons of links in the description box for you guys. Um, I think what other questions? Ha oh, one other question. Somebody asked me, how does this suction to the table, the marquee? Um, just like the old one. Um, and I never really like suctioned it to the table. What happens is as you start using it, you know, as you um, push down, like, you know, it's sitting there and you do your thing, it kind of sticks itself to the table. And then sometimes you can't pick it up because obviously it's suctioned and then you just release the suction. So it's this little plastic rubbery base. A lot of times because my silicone mat, it doesn't stick to that, but it will stick to the glass mat. Um, it's the same thing. Once you push down, it just, it, it'll just hold on to whatever surface you have it on and then you release the suction um, just like that and let it go. So that's how it sticks to the table if you're curious. Um, it's the same as the old mechanism. So let's check this out. So thank you so much Diamond Press. Um, this is super cute. They have so many cute things. They have such great designers. Like the things they come up with are really fun. Oh, I did want to mention one other thing on mydiamondpress.com. People had asked me about this the last time around when we did the scratch off kit. Um, I think it was Celebration Scratch Off, or what was it called? Um, you know what I'm saying, with the little gold scratch offs. Um, refills are available on mydiamondpress.com, and they have refills of a lot of things that um, I didn't think of. So go check it out if there's something that you want more of as far as um, shaker cards, those kind of things, they'll have it, okay? Or they have had it, so um, mydiamondpress.com. So this one, again, comes with a small cutting folder, which is great. Again, I told you you can use these in the larger machine just to cut down on your cutting time. It fits in there. I would just put it towards the middle. I've already done that in the Frequently Asked Questions marquee video. So we have that. We have our inspiration sheet. Super cute. Again, like the pillow box, you're going to cut two of the large die, the large, um, um, obviously, 
bag portion. We have the little balloons, which I love. We have hello, we have love, little hearts, a little nesting heart, or like a double heart so it cuts out in the center. That's really cute. Little leaves, which I love. A nice, um, very useful rectangle shape there. Scalloped rectangle. Then we have like a little pennant shape or a tag ribbon kind of looking thing. A cute like plaque here. Oh, this is cute. That's inventive. I like that. It's like a little different shape for your little um, stamps here. So made with love. Thanks a bunch just because. Happy birthday. A little something for you. And then there's you. Four. And we have four you. <laughs> Yay. And then a tag with um, stamps for that too. And then we have a circle here with a cute little frame. A couple frames and then a couple of um, other little stamps that say handmade with love or hip hip hooray. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so we have a heart embossing folder, which is very cute. This is very sweet. I love this polka dots. So if you're new to this kind of stuff, um, these will be really fun, kind of, um, especially the dots, because it's a really nice basic one to have for um, embossing. And um, again, I've already shown you guys, this basically embosses a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper, which is great for a card, right? And then we have the large um, cutting folder. So yes, these will be available as refills on their own or replacements. And then we have our stamps. And again, they have such cute stamps because they always have like, I like the colors they put on their um, carrier sheet. So we kind of talked about the stamps. Treat yourself. <laughs> That's funny. I love that. Um, I used to watch Parks and Rec all the time and I used to remember that. Hello, sugar. You're so sweet for my sweet friends. So there's a couple things on that I didn't talk about in the other... A little treat for someone sweet. It's a real treat being friends with you. And then it has a cute little spray with like little flowers. Really cute stuff here. Um, again, the flowers place. And then we have our dies. So, of course, most of the dies coordinate back to, well, whatever we have to stamp here, obviously. Uh, where's the balloon? Oh, he's on the other sheet there. So we have the words that we talked about. And I love the little hello. It's so cute. So we are going to get started. Um, in the last video on the pillow box, I showed you how you can... Um, emboss your base um so i'm not gonna do it this time around but you can uh definitely do that yeah it, it fits right in there as far as the paper that would be i'll show you that in a minute but let me grab some papers and some ink and all that good stuff and we'll get started okay so i have a piece of this thought out the base and a couple other items and then i'll probably have to go back and look for more colors i took a long time looking for um colors <laughs> so let's see here I'm just gonna grab this piece of paper. So finally I found this paper from Dina. It's called Embellished by Dina and it is probably a decade old. <laughs> so that's what I'll be using. I'm just trying to see how wide this is so I can kind of get an idea. And so it's just a little polka dot paper with lots of different colors on it so I can choose whatever I want, right, to accent that. And this will be the base bag color. And where is my folder? Here it is. Again, I keep using the same folder because I want to show you guys that you can get lots of use from one folder. Um, to be honest, the last thing in my mind was, are there refills? Because um, I know this is going to last a very long time. So I'm going to hold that down. If you want to tape it, you can be my guest. But I'm just going to hold that and start putting that in there. And we're gonna cut two of these guys. I was thinking about using metallic paper. There was lots of different ideas, but I thought, well, I hardly ever use pattern paper. I keep using just basic paper, so I wanted to use a pattern paper. So we need two of this. And so I'm gonna cut out one more. I'll do it this way. some accent colors and some other things so we'll try out lots of different things from the kit hopefully okay so I'm trying to see to make sure I score everything so let's look at this there's a score right here right there's the side piece so and it's hard to see especially because it's a um, pattern paper but the score marks hopefully there you can see kind of there okay so we're following all those I'm gonna score all the edge ones because I think that'll help. And I'm scoring inwards because um, obviously those are going to go inside. 
And then these guys, uh, when I folded those uh, when I can hold this down, I can kind of see where it needs to end, which is basically down at the end, just so I get a better fold. And then this one, well, this is going to fold too. Well, maybe not. No, let's see that one. Again, I do not know what this bag is supposed to look like at the end, so I'm just <laughs> kind of going by what I would think. There's another score, and on the back I can see there's another score right here, obviously, right down the side of the bag. Just want to make sure I'm on the right. This paper has a texture to it, so it already has like a little checkeredy, kind of checkered squares. I don't want to fold on the wrong edge. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to fold the other piece exactly the same way. Okay, so we have both sides, and of course, like I said, I'm like, does it fold here? No, no, no. Obviously, there's no score mark here. It doesn't fold. It, those two areas do is, uh, touch each other. I am going to use a tape pen, just so like, this gets um, sealed quickly. I get dries, you know, obviously, as soon as I put it. But I would use a white glue like I always recommend for box making. So I'm just going to take some of the glue and run it down one of these little sides. And we're going to match those up. Sometimes I match up from the back, sometimes I match up from the front. Um, you know, you can take a look before you really squeeze it and make sure that it looks nice. That looks about right. So I'm just going to give it a little burnish. Supposedly with Crafters Companion tape pen, if you give it a little burnish, a little heat, it helps um, activate it. And then on this one, also, a little more this here and this time I the only option is to look at it from the front so I'm just kind of lining those up so for being a small die or a small well it's not that small I guess right it's almost the, the size of a card front it makes it a nice sized little bag I was really curious about how big this was I know I didn't mention with the pillow box if you guys um, want to know it is about one two three four four and three quarters tall and about just over two inches, two and a quarter inches, puffy. <laughs> that helps there. And then these guys, you know, this is always up to you. I always like to leave one of the thicker, like the wider pieces outside to hold this down because otherwise you have all those plus some little small choppy pieces, you know? So I always like to keep one of the larger pieces out. And this one I will use a wet glue because it's just easier on this part. So I'm gonna put some wet glue, wet glue hold down one of the sides and then put some dry some quick adhesive out here so we're gonna hold that down I'm gonna put this down hopefully I'm still in frame yep and then I'm gonna turn it over and do my hands reach yes my hands reach <laughs> so if your hand does not reach <laughs> um, just take any kind of tool whatever you have laying around I have some aqua markers or aqua pens here that I still haven't put away and just make sure that pushes down there So cute. So this is our little bag, and then of course you can tie it with a ribbon. And the two little holes in the top there, yarn, don't do anything, you can cover it up, however you like to do that. Cute little bag. So it is uh, just over two and a quarter inches, like two and three eighths inches uh, wide, and it is one, two, three, four and a half tall, counting the little frill. So probably three and three quarters tall without the frill part so the bag itself there very cute nice for a little gift card little treats little anything little obviously um, I, would I dropped something and it made a loud noise um so let's decorate it so i have a few things here i want to do i'm going to use this background is that there yep okay i'm going to use this little frame And this paper is uh, a nice purple. It's like a little bit of a violet kind of pinky purple. I'm just going to cut that out real quick. And then along with that I am going to tell you like butter. It's so smooth, so easy. I am going to put some little hearts on this one because I do want to try out the embossing. So hopefully I can get that nice and straight. Oh, 
was kind of debating what I want to do. So I do want to do stamping. I do want to try out some of the other items there. We have our little sweet embossing. Okay, so that's one of the elements. And then I wanted to cut out some balloons. So they do have a balloon stamp, but I'm just going to do the balloon shape. Um, but you can stamp the balloon and then cut it out um, if you like. But I have this pink paper I wanted to use to cut out just a couple of balloons. Oh, so again, I guess I'll show you guys here. Why not? Now you saw I wasn't going to cut my paper down. I was just going to use the paper how it was. But if I did cut it down, let's say I had a smaller piece of paper and I just want to use my regular old um, folder. I have some well-worn ones here, but right now I can only find new ones. Okay, so I'll use this brand new one, but um, just put it in there, pop in your little item, and run it through. So really useful, because I have tons of the small folders from before. I'm just gonna cut out a couple of these as accent pieces, just some shimmer paper that I think is really pretty. And this is as far as I got, as far as deciding what I was going to do. So let me grab some more papers so I can do um, a sentiment. Okay, so I found a little piece of, not a little piece, I found a piece of green Satura Pearl paper that I think will be pretty. And um, supposedly you can stamp on this, so hopefully I've never really tried it, so we will see. Because it, it's not slick, but it has a little bit of a tooth to it, but who knows. Um, and I want to do Treat Yourself, because um, I like that. <laughs> so let's take that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm going to do Noir Black um, Quick Dry Ink because this stuff is really thick, so hopefully it'll stick to the stamp, stick to my paper. Yeah, pretty good. Like I said, it's supposed to be stampable, this paper, but, you know, the stamp is there. It's not as dark as it would be maybe if you had put it on just a plain cardstock. But there we go. And I'll clean this off later because... It will definitely need to be cleaned off. And this too, I'll just wash it. And of course, stick my hand on it. So now I have ink all over my hand. But just rinse it off with water and it'll just come right off. And hopefully, let's see if it's already dry. It should be. It's quick dry. Okay. I don't want to run it through. And then guess what? Oh no. You know, we cut off all, or uh, rubbed off all the sentiment. If that happens, I'll just stamp the other side. So let me see if that's straight enough. And again, I'll run it through with the little guy. So, um, my contact was saying that when you run it through with the little one, it just, it's that much faster, right? Instead of rolling through the whole folder. So there we go. That's perfect. And is that it? I think that is it. Okay, so let's get all our elements here. Be good. Put this back. Like I said, there are going to be, and there is, there are going to be? I guess, carriers for your stamps and stuff like that. So that'll be really fun. But I'm going to build this up. So I'm going to lay this one down flat on our bag. Oopsie. And I'm going to use a wet glue just so I can kind of maneuver it a little bit if I need to. Around there. And I have... Treat yourself, and I can. So this is 3D glue gel again. People say you can use Aileen's glue, the tacky glue, that thick stuff that you can find at like Joann's and stuff, because it'll give you the same kind of thing. Or just use dimensionals, right? Take a little backing off of them, your dimensional stickers. I'm gonna put this on here just because I want a little bit of um, dimension there. But really, the balloons are what I wanted to kind of stand out a little bit. Cute. Then we have our little balloons. And I suppose you could run these through also. Oh, should we do that? Let's do that. Let's run them through the um, the dots. And however you like. I don't know. I'm just going to put them on there. You know, I always forget like layering or texture. So like if you can throw in some texture, why not? It just gives a little bit more to the to the design. Look how cute. Now you can't tell me that those are a ton better. It's so cute. <laughs> 
And if you have a white core, which this probably, paper probably does, you could scrape um, a sander over that. And what I mean by sander is like a nail file, like a buffing block, or the ones that are specifically made for crafting, and scrape it on there. And then you'd have like little white dots kind of popping through if you want to do that. And let me just finish this up. Now it's not really like me to put ribbon um, or like little handles. I mean, you can do whatever you like. I don't, I, you know, let's talk about that in just a minute. Let me finish this up. Treat yourself. Mm -hmm. I know this one's gonna go down here for sure. Something like that. I didn't really know I was gonna put that second balloon. Okay, so let's talk about this. So if you wanted to do a little handles, um, you could put one ribbon on one side. Okay, so, you, well, let me go ahead and get some ribbon. Okay, this is too funny. I always have tons of ribbon and I do different projects and I saw this literally just sitting over on my other um, surface over here on my sewing machine, antique sewing machine. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I mean, the color is almost there. If you don't want to put more ex like expense as far as like ribbon, you can use raffia. I know they sell them like in huge bundles, real cheap at the Dollar Tree, stuff like that. Um, maybe even baker's twine, however you like. But what I want to show you is that I would either um, string it through like this, right from one side to the other, come back over here. One side to the other, string it back through, and then pull it tight and make your bow, right? Oopsie. This is what happens when things are still wet. Hey. Right? And make your bow so now you have just like a little closure. Or you can make like a little gift bag, which would be really fun. Um, let me cut this. I should probably cut them, cut two of the same size at the beginning, okay? Don't <laughs> do what I did because I'm going to eyeball this. Um, I would put one through tie a knot so it's kind of hefty. Come on. You can even do the knot before you put it in the bag obviously but I already kind of strung it through there. So we have a knot and then put the other side through. Make them bigger guys, okay? I'm just kind of spitballing here. <laughs> You can put another little knot on the other side. Oh, I haven't even started my coffee, I just realized. All right. Right? So cute. And then do one on the other side, and now you have two little handles that look adorable. Obviously, make them a little bit bigger. But um, really cute. So thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending these for my review. Uh, guys, if you want to try and winter a winter, if you want to try to win, a tacky tool uh go ahead and do enter me i'll have some pictures for you guys all the links in the description box and of course the rules are coming up next um so keep an eye out for the next few videos you guys um this is really fun they have so many cute new things that they've come out with um hope you guys are enjoying the videos and are staying safe and well at home and i will see you guys at the next one bye now